This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. I'm lying in the ambulance on the way up here thinking, what have I done? There was no pain, no great pain, you know, it was not the Hollywood thing where you got your hands around your throat. It, 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 it sneaks up on you, it's insidious. But less than a year after his heart attack, 57-year-old Doug Presley enjoys his cardio rehab class with a little classic rock. Don't you cry no more. Well, I'm happy because I'm still here. <laughs> Doug says a number of factors led up to his heart attack, including prehypertension. His doctor warned him years ago the condition put him at risk for developing hypertension or high blood pressure. 110 over 70. Very good. I kept telling myself, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do better tomorrow. You know, I'll exercise tomorrow. I won't eat junk food tomorrow. According to the CDC, or Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, blood pressure refers to the force of blood pushing against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps. Think of your heart muscle as one of these resistance bands. When your blood pressure is high, your heart is being overstretched again and again. Eventually, your heart will wear out, making it harder to pump blood to the rest of your body. High blood pressure damages arteries. It can damage um, the heart, it can damage the kidneys, uh, it can damage the brain. Health experts measure blood pressure using two numbers. The first number, called systolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart beats. The second number, diastolic blood pressure, measures the pressure in your blood vessels when your heart rests between beats. A measurement reading less than 120 systolic and 80 diastolic for adults, or 120 over 80, means you're in the normal range. If your blood pressure falls between 120 and 139 over 80 to 89, you have prehypertension. Experts say consider this a warning. You're at risk for developing hypertension, classified as a reading higher than 140 over 90. Doctors recommend checking your blood pressure often. So a good trend is to actually have a blood pressure monitor at home and to check it. It may be once a week, it may be once a month. Dr. Tom Berenger calls high blood pressure the silent killer because it doesn't usually have any warning signs or symptoms. High blood pressure also increases your risk for cardiovascular disease, including heart attack and stroke. Statistics show one-third of adults have hypertension, and your risk for developing the condition increases with age. So past 50, it's approaching more like one out of two. And past 70, 75, you're actually seeing more people with elevated blood pressure than with normal blood pressure. The CDC says African Americans develop high blood pressure more often and at an earlier age than Caucasians and Mexican Americans. And this may surprise you. Women are about as likely as men to develop hypertension. Several factors, including family history, health conditions, and an unhealthy lifestyle can also lead to high blood pressure. I probably go in through five Coca-Colas a day. Following his heart attack, Doug enrolled in this 12-week cardio rehab program. I can go ahead and put in the target heart rate range that we have now. Here he worked with a registered nurse, exercise physiologist, and dietitian to lower his blood pressure from 140 over 93 to 112 over 73. He also lost 35 pounds. Doctors suggest patients recovering from heart disease attend classes three times a week, starting each session by strapping on a heart monitor, checking their blood pressure, and recording their resting heart rate. Then they get to work, strengthening their heart through aerobic exercise. And he would come in and, and put his head down and really work hard and continue to push himself a little harder. And they make it fun. It's not a chore to come in here. Doug says a second chance at life motivated him to make changes. Looks good. Your heart rate's 114. I've had my warning. I don't think you get very many warnings. It's just heartwarming to watch him on this journey and know that you know, we probably extended his life. It's just what you dream of as a nurse. Just as these resistance bands stretch to help strengthen muscles, this class helped Doug stretch out of his comfort zone to help strengthen his heart. Now a proud graduate of cardio rehab, Doug takes each day in stride, continuing on a path towards better health. For Carolina Impact, I'm Danielle Koser reporting.